I am Christina Tehel. Here I recapitulate pivotal sections of first principles in direct quotes from Dr. Mark Goffney or Barbara Marks Hubbard, woven together from the prior week's One Mountain, Many Paths broadcast. Prayer awakens us to the approachability of the infinite. Just like personhood exists between you and I, personhood is the nature of one face of the cosmos and prayer is the affirmation of the personhood of cosmos. Yes, there are laws of physics, the four forces, the strong and weak nuclear, the electromagnetic and the gravitational, and they are real. And yes, dark matter needs to be taken seriously. And Eros is the animating force that animates all the four forces. Eros drives cosmos forward. My own consciousness, your own consciousness is real. I feel myself. You can feel yourself. I feel the personhood in the cosmos as utterly real as well. Prayer is about the approachability of the infinite, the intimacy of the infinite. The infinite is right next to you, whispering in your ear, knowing every jot and tittle, every detail that takes place in your life. The infinite holds every flutter of your heart, every shudder of your soul, every desire of your body and your mind. The infinite is with you in all of it and all of it wants is for you to reach out, to hold its hand and be its beloved, radical, wild partner. The infinite wants to give you everything it can within the context of your highest, most wild and radical emergence. The personhood between you and me, the personhood that you felt in your most deep and profound intensities participates in the personhood of reality. Your most intimate moment, your most erotic moment, your most tender moment, your moment filled with the most fierce and wild passion is but a glimmer but a pale expression of the infinity of intimacy, desiring you and knowing you. We are all aware of the existential risk landscape. And we're also aware of the gorgeousness of human possibility. We're aware that we are participating in the evolution of love. We're aware that we are ourselves quite literally the memory of the future. That mad love has got to translate into profound, careful, discerning wisdom around policy, around articulating a new vision, a new universe story, a new narrative of human identity. It's got to include deep writing, deep communication, the wisdom of long-term planning, steadiness, an insane amount of hard work, animated with joy, so animated with the light, so animated with human dignity that the line between the human being and the infinite blurs. Infinity and infinitude blur into each other as the new human and the new humanity emerges.